Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in this video, we're going to be going over uh, YouTube videos and YouTube playlist, how to add uh, those to your Adobe Muse website. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the sample site that I've created. Um, I've decided to create it uh, on Jellyfish. So I'll hit uh, Command Shift E to preview this in the browser and I added some interesting uh, scroll hover effects here for the menu and if you scroll down there's some interesting scroll effects happening where the jellyfish come in and I have some jellyfish in the background and what I want to do with uh, this website is add a uh, jellyfish YouTube playlist uh, here in the beginning and then add a video here, add a video here, and add a video here and one last one here. So to do that what I'm going to do is go to youtube.com and uh, I'm going to look up a jellyfish and I'm sure I will get plenty of stuff but I'm just gonna look for maybe documentaries or you know things like that like this pure nature specials uh, super jellyfish hey, um, that seems kind of interesting uh, let me just mute the audio there and uh, I might not watch all of these videos but you know I, I might just cre create a, a playlist because some of these videos don't let me uh, skip skip the ads so we don't want to sit here and just watch a bunch of videos um, but let me just forward it and it looks interesting got some jellyfish in there and uh, I think I've seen some videos from these guys Zag TV so uh, what I want to do is add to and I'm gonna click on add to then uh, click on create new playlist and I'll just call this uh, jellyfish and click create and it's been added to the jellyfish playlist now I'll add I'll try to add four just to make it um, <laughs> attack of the giant jellyfish all right sure add to jellyfish so now that we've created the jellyfish playlist all we do is click add to and then we click uh, the checkbox jellyfish all right and five facts that make jellyfish extraordinary sounds cool Close that, add two, click on jellyfish. All right, one more. Uh, let's see, GoPro lost in jellyfish lake. Uh, all right, sure. I don't know if this is, nope, that's, that's jellyfish. It looks a little bit dangerous. I thought jellyfish stung, but um, I don't know. I'm not a jellyfish researcher. I just think they look cool. So um, yeah, that's it. I got four videos. So if I go to, um, I believe it's my channel and playlists. Yep, there it is. So again, you go to my channel, you go to playlists and here is my jellyfish playlist. So I click on here, play all, and I have my four videos that I've added. Now I go up to this uh, edit feature right up here to uh, get the code. So I click edit, yeah, so let me do that one more time for you, I know I'm going a little bit quick. So click uh, right up here, edit, and right here we have a share or embed this playlist, and that's where we want to click. So just click on share, and then you click on embed, and then, no, sorry, I think you just need to uh, click on share and copy this, uh, this link where it says share. Now I go back to Muse, I go to object, insert widget, uh, social, and then YouTube right here. So I click there and it's gonna add, oh, there we go. So uh, we have our playlist or we have this YouTube, um, this YouTube widget in here. And now for video ID, and I'm gonna see if this works with playlists. Um, this is usually just for one video, but we have a playlist, so let's see if it works. So go to share, and it's not going to work for a playlist. I can already see because the, the, the ending code is a little bit different. So we actually need to embed this into our website within an iframe. So we're going to copy this uh, widget, I mean this uh, playlist. So I'm going to right click and copy. Now to embed the playlist, I'm just going to delete this uh, YouTube uh, widget here and we'll go back to that for the single videos that we're going to place. But to add this playlist, we go to Object, 
insert widget, no, sorry, insert, go to object, insert HTML, sorry about that, and then hit Command V, and then click OK. So what we're doing is we're putting in HTML with um, this playlist here. All right, there we go. So we have our YouTube playlist, and it's embedded into our website. It moved some of my elements, so I actually have to move them back. So fit page and window, and I'm just going to highlight all these elements. Hold down shift to keep everything vertically in place. And there we go. That's better. All right. So if we preview this in the browser and I hit command shift E and I have my playlist and I can go to the playlist and change the videos, go to different videos and things like that. All right. So it looks good. And you can actually make this uh, playlist bigger. Like when you go to share, you can pick the video size, uh, you can make it 640, 853, or you can set a custom size and it'll put it in the embed code. And then again, you just go to object, insert HTML and place the embed code in here and then uh, move your HTML uh, code wherever you want. In this case, it's a YouTube playlist. So you just move the playlist wherever you'd like. Now I'm just going to go through and add some just you, uh, YouTube videos without adding them to a playlist. Uh, I'll add one here first. So to do that, I can just go to the object, insert widget, social, YouTube, and then click right here. And that's a good size. You know, you can resize it to, to however big or small you'd like it to be. And all we need here, if we click on the uh, options for this widget on this uh, blue circle here with an arrow, uh, we just need the video ID. And you can find the, the video ID if we go to um, jellyfish. And let's go to the next page to see if they have more jellyfish videos. Okay, giant jellyfish found by divers. That sounds pretty cool. And all we need for this is actually, once we click on the video, is just these uh, after the equal sign, these characters here. So where it says watch question mark V equals, you just need where it starts with a D and ends with a W, like all these characters here. And then just Command C or Control C on a PC, Command C on a Mac, or right click and copy. And then back here to this YouTube widget and just hit uh, paste. I guess I have to delete that like that and hit paste. And then you have a few options here show controls, show info, autoplay, loop, allow full screen, show annotations, show related, reduce branding. Um, they have more information on this, I think, on the Muse website. I'm not sure what reduced branding is. Maybe it doesn't show um, the ad, the other videos at the end of the video, but all of these are pretty self-explanatory. You can pick a start time for your video. You can actually pick uh, the color of your progress bar, and you can pick uh, the dark theme or the light theme. So let's see what the light theme looks like. Okay, it just kind of has the bottom here a little bit lighter. Uh, we'll pick the dark theme, kind of like that dark with the red. And that looks good. So now if we preview, Command Shift E, we uh, preview in the browser and we can hit play and the YouTube video will play. Looks good. So I'll just do this a few more times just to kind of finish the site off. So I go to object, insert widget, social, uh, YouTube, just place it here. And let me find a YouTube video that, another jellyfish YouTube video and this one looks pretty crazy. I don't even know if that's realistic, but uh, let's see. Come dive with jellyfish. Uh, yeah, just for the sake of keeping the video short, I'm just going to select this one here. And again, we just want to copy this uh, ID here, This uh, these few characters at the end. Go to options and just uh, paste it in there. Command V on a Mac. And uh, let me go back here. And I'll pick uh, how to live forever, be a jellyfish. Okay, um, sure. And we'll just pick this uh, ID here. Oh, and uh, yeah, first we gotta insert the YouTube video. So object, insert widget, social, YouTube, just paste it in there. And let's get it right in the center there. Options and delete this, hit enter. Very good, and one last one just to finish the site off and then we'll have a nice nice looking site about jellyfish with different videos. And oh, jellyfish, you could, robot jellyfish. Uh, 
my desktop jellyfish. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Bioluminescent jellyfish. That does look cool. All right, so I grab the ID here. And once again, object, insert widget, social, YouTube, and place that right there. And then I'll just move it kind of like right here. And hit paste, hit enter. And there we go. Let me just, uh, yeah, no, I, it's okay. I'll just kind of place it where I think it should be placed. Yeah, let me move this over a little bit. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Maybe a little bit to the left. All right. So there it is. So if I hit Command Shift E, I have this cool site about jellyfish. The buttons hover, the menu buttons hover. Uh, if I hit play, I can go through a playlist. Um, I can go to the next video just by clicking here uh, and go to different um, videos about jellyfish. I have a jellyfish video here with the jellyfish popping in from the left. I hit play. That works pretty good. All right, so there we go. And we have jellyfish uh, scroll effect there. So you can see just, you know, how much you can do with Muse. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.